welcome back. This is my ANC TV and my name is Nino Zama and we are now joined by the Twane mayoral candidate. You all know her, Togo Didiza. You came into the scene with fire blazing, fireworks, just like a diva that you are. Well, it has been very exciting, I must say, um, that the ANC, through its, its commitment, I'm sure you recall when President Zuma said, one of the things that we need to appreciate is the importance of local government. That even at that sphere of government, we must deploy our cadres, not only focusing on national and provincial government, because at local government, that's where things matter. So I'm actually grateful to the ANC for having given me this opportunity to now serve our people at this sphere of government, which is very important. And over the past few days, we saw you on the ground in Swane. What were the people telling you in terms of their needs and the challenges that they are facing, their expectations from your administration? Firstly, our people in Swane appreciate the work that the ANC has done in government in the past 22 years, but more specifically in the past five years in Swane. They are appreciating that that work has actually changed the lives of many people of Tswani. However, there remain challenges which they are confident that the ANC will address. Issues of human settlement. You know that because we are a gateway for immigration from the north, we attract a lot of people and therefore there are a lot of informal dwellers that are there. So we need to address that issue going forward. But one of the ways in which we have said as a city we will do so is to do the formalization of uh, informal settlements so that we can give security of tenure to those people on the plots where they are, put uh, bulk service infrastructure, water, sanitation, and electricity so that some of those communities where they've got the capacity to do so, they can build their own houses. But even when government follows with the RDP housing, people would have had certainty of the places where they are living. We also are we're going to continue with infrastructure rollout, particularly roads in the township, because that was one of the issues that people raised, particularly in areas such as Amansipal, Social Movement, Mabupane, and Mamelodi, where they are saying, we are happy, but look, now our shoes have got dust. Please sort out in the streets. The power and energy security is another challenge. If you look at stands above our brain, you know, electricity challenge is there, goes on and off. We need to actually engage. Um, ask to look at how we can address that issue of energy security going forward. The issue of unemployment is another area where we'll have to work with our businesses around Swane to look at how we could create investment closer to where people are. If you look at one of the initiatives like taking the business uh, process outsourcing into Hamans Cloud, that is going to create jobs in one of our northern areas, but also the um, reinvestment in the townships, particularly in Babilehi, Ekandastra, and some of those factories in Karakua, that would be our focus. But more important is the revitalization of township uh, economy. What that means is that we need to also regularize some of the township businesses that are there that are not accounted for, maybe because they're not uh, registered, even though registered the places where they're operating are not seen as the business side. So those are some of the issues that we have to deal with Issues of student housing mm -hmm. in Swane, given the three universities, it's going to be one of the major areas that we focus on. And having a strategy for agribusiness business development, particularly on the eastern side in Swedeen, where it's largely an agricultural zone. My view is that we need to focus on those issues going forward. The rollout of the BRT system, bus rapid transport system, is again another area that we have to conclude. What more can I say? Exciting to be in Swan. It sounds, it sounds like you're very, very ready to start. Um, and you've lived in this area since 1994, really. You know it, it's in your blood. I mean, you're mentioning these areas I've never heard of myself. What is it that we can say to encourage those undecided voters to come out and vote for the ANC? What we can say is that as an ANC government in Swane, we promise them that ANC will be able to address their need. We promise them an effective, efficient government that is responsive to the needs of the people. And that can be checked 
of the five in the five years of our performance where we've listened to the people and actually responded to their needs. Therefore, we're saying trust the ANC as the party that can change your life. Work with us to improve your own city. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. Let's allow you to go and enjoy the festivities, continue singing and enjoying the dance. Because, I mean, definitely, this is your, yours to lose. Basically. Thank you. Why not mind to win? No, it's up to you. It's up to you.